Hi friends, I am Najib. Here is another video of PPOM demo. In this video, we will see how to use dates, inputs, and the range picker, date range picker, like this. So let's see how we can set up these dates and their settings so the customer on your product page can set select the dates. So here in the backend, I have created a meta. And if you don't know how to create the people meta, you can see our first video, the link given below. So here is the date. So let's see the date field first of all. Here you see the title and the basic settings. You can set the default date and the width. And so let me set the date format to this one. And uh, you can also set the year range uh, like uh, 950 colon 216 so let me set uh, the year is 1982 to 2020 if you want to set the range and then make sure you set the jQuery date picker for these controls or settings to be applied and you can set you can disable the past and the future dates i will see this in a bit later so let me save these settings and refresh and here you can say see the date range is starting from 1982 till 2020 so that's we just set up and I think I have disabled the past dates. So let me see. Uh, yeah, I have I have disabled the weekends. So you can disable the weekends, and uh, and then you can disable the past dates. So let's see if I want to disable last five days. You can type minus five d. And if you want to disable future five days you can type plus 5d so like this so let me disable last five days like this and you can then see the changes and here you can see so last five days uh, is disabled so this is the great options to accept like shipping dates or delivery dates or whatever date related data you want to accept on your product page we have another field which is date range picker and here is date range and here you can see the date range input so let's see the date range it allows customers to select the range of two date between two dates like 13 March to uh, let's say 15 June and here you can see the date range is selected so let's see the settings for this here you can see uh, the format and the style the pop-up style and the time picker increment like uh, if you increment the time picker so how many days should be incremented and uh, you can also set the start and the end date and you can also set the minimum date and uh, minimum and maximum date and there are couple, there are many other options like uh, seconds display numbers week numbers like if i enable the week numbers so here you can see these the week numbers number of weeks will be shown displaying on the, the very left of that drop down so once these fields are selected these are sent to the checkout and the card page like uh, like this so i hope uh, you like this video and uh, if you want to 
by this peepom just visit www.najimedia.com/peepom bye